AI and iPhones. Seems like I'm breaking the law by using these words in one sentence. But hell, iPhones do have AI features already, and there are many AI apps too. So how can we make iOS 18 features better? The easiest way to feel the power of AI on your phone is with ChatGPT. The app itself has all the features that the web version has, and so chat normally, type using your voice, upload photos for image recognition. But the best part, ChatGPT for iOS is its ability to just talk to you. OpenAI did some magic, and now I can just talk to ChatGPT like I would to a real person. The voice recognition is superb, and the response speed is really fast, almost like a human. So what ChatGPT on iPhone is really all about is trying out the future voice assistants. We're not there yet, but really, really close. And if ChatGPT is not for you, you can always try Bing. To access it, just need to tap on the big co-pilot button at the bottom. It works the same way as it does in the web version, give the same great results with links and a ton of information. However, there is one feature that exists only here. When you're typing your prompt, you can just tap on the suggested words and the prompt will fill itself. Of course, you can also recognize things in photos. I will use this photo of a pen and it managed to read all the text on the pen and even suggested that it is a souvenir from a mountain in Spain. And it totally is. I find Bing to be more accurate in terms of recognizing images and a bit friendlier in the way it communicates. Also, there is an option to do voice input, but the speech recognition is really not that great. What's even more strange is the way it narrates the text. In my case, it had a very strange and non-usual accent and didn't sound like a human at all. It consists of five groups of islands. The Society Islands, the Tuemo to Archipelago. And what's even more strange is that if you ask it to say the response out loud, the accent mysteriously disappears. Yes, I can speak other languages besides the one we are using right now. Bang might not be the best AI app, but it is definitely one of the funniest and strangest ones. And some apps actually interact with your phone, or at least integrate into it. Like this AI keyboard from Microsoft. This keyboard can help you with writing messages, fix mistakes, and rewrite stuff for you, and complete your messages for you, write emails and do all sorts of things. It also has a chat bot built in. It's kind of like chat GPT at your fingertips. Google's photo app also has a couple powerful AI features that you will definitely like. I can take this photo, tap here, select an object and just delete it. Uses AI to fill in the empty space and gives options to choose from and it works really well. I don't know if it works on device or it's cloud-based, but still impressive. In the same mode, you can also select an object and move it around, make it bigger and have AI fill in the empty space and blend everything together. Sure, this app on Android has a couple more cool features like uh, unblurring photos, but in terms of iPhone apps, this is your best shot. But there is another AI that every creative person person should check out. Pixverse, the sponsor of today's video. Pixverse is amazing at generating stunning videos from only a photo. So if you, for example, shoot a vlog, but are too shy to shoot a video somewhere, you can just generate a video from a single photo that would fit the style perfectly and most importantly, stay visually consistent. The quality is actually insane. Then there is the magic brush feature and it's something amazing. With this brush, I can just select the objects from a photo and add motion to it. Like making the clothes sway in the breeze. I can give any motion pattern I want and the video will look super realistic. Or how about animating old paintings? Easy. Select the area, draw the direction and boom, done and dusted. It's so simple. Whether you are a video creator, an AI enthusiast, a digital marketing professional, Pixverse would be a very useful tool in your arsenal. The tool is currently in free beta testing, so I will leave a link to Pixverse in the description for you to check out. Now, what if you want to generate some AI images right on your iPhone? We know Dolly is built into to chat GPT, but what else? The coolest app I found for that purpose is DaVinci. It's really easy to use and it gives enough freedom so that you not only generate any type of image in any style, but also do it in a simple and straightforward way. So here I'm in the main page. So I'm gonna tap on this input box and type in my prompt for the image. I also will not select any style. I just want to see how the image will look. And we have three options to choose from. The first one is quite cartoonish. The second one is a bit more stylish and and the third one looks almost like the second one, but in a different setting. Now let's get back to the main page and instead of typing our own prompt, click on the surprise me button. And would you look at that? It's a little hamster. I like the images it generated. They look nice and really stylish. So 
Good job. The app also can create avatars, but it's gonna require 10 to 20 selfies to do that. There definitely will be a paywall there. Luckily, Illusion Diffusion feature is free. It allows you to basically take any photo and turn it into something else. Like all those images where, you know, mountains and trees from a face. So I'm gonna upload a photo and select no style. The prompt will be landscape and it can also turn regular photos into anime, not a big deal. Overall, I'd say that it's quite good at generating images and it does it with a surprising consistency. But the next app is surely the coolest of the bunch. It's called Luma AI and it's a dream come true for all people interested in 3D graphics and modeling. Imagine having this superpower where you can turn anything you see into a 3D model and all you need is the phone in your pocket. Sounds cool, right? Well, that's exactly what Luma AI is all about. It's making the whole 3D thing way more approachable and fun for everyone, not just the pros. Just grab your phone, launch Luma AI and walk around Around whatever you want to scan. Could be your favorite coffee mug, your dog, or even a chair. This app does all the scanning and processing as you go, and before you know it, you've got yourself a digital twin of that object. Whether you are a student, a hobbyist, or someone just dabbling in digital creation, this app is your golden ticket. Maybe you're into game design, or perhaps you're thinking about launching a new product. With Luma AI, you can turn any object into 3D scan in minutes. It's making the magic of 3D accessible, easy to use, and most importantly, fun. Let's get back to some built-in AI features. All these simplistic and minor AI features don't really align with Apple's claim that each new device has a better and better neural engine inside and gets more and more optimized for AI. And then we get AI document scanning. So who's to blame here? No one, I think. Everyone is somewhat constrained. App developers most likely don't get enough room from Apple to experiment. Apple has always been uptight about security, and there is no chance they're gonna let random developers deploy their custom models on people's phones. So even with all the immense AI capabilities that these new chips give, developers still have to resort to cloud-based solutions. And given all the technical limitations this brings, no wonder most of these AI apps are either either chatbots or simplistic image modifiers. Such things are not particularly hard on servers and don't need any permissions from Apple. And this is really sad. A-series chips are super powerful and can run complex AI models, but somehow they just don't do that. This is a stark contrast to what Google been doing with their Gemini AI. With Pixel 8 Pro, Google added their smallest Gemini Nano model that runs completely on device and doesn't require internet connection. Sure, this model is fairly simplistic and has only basic features, but it works on device. What if Apple added something similar, especially if they would have done it natively, available throughout all apps. Kind of like those reactions that work in any video conferencing app, app developers don't even need to enable them, they just work. And if we talk about AI features in general, that's where Apple can get a lot of inspiration from. And I sure hope they do, because Google and Samsung were on fire recently with their AI features. I did a review of the Samsung S24 Ultra and I still use it daily, and this phone has tons of AI in it. Then there is this lens thingy where I just point camera at something and it instantly finds me what it is. Works like a charm every time. And by the way, I see no reason for Apple to not add a similar feature since the iPhones can now identify plants and animals in our photos. Or how about to eliminate a noise from videos without a video editor? Google did some real magic here. Apple has something like that in the camera, but it mostly just focuses on certain sounds rather than lets you edit the audio and post. Sure, you might say that some of the AI features in some phones are half-baked, like AI wallpapers in Samsung, for example, and I think it's clear that Apple doesn't like to add unfinished features to their devices. So let's just wait and see what new exclusive AI features the iPhone 16 will bring. And if you're planning on buying a new iPhone soon, be sure to check out our video about iPhone buying mistakes. Thanks for watching and see you there.